Yo, what's going on? So right now, the most popular video on my channel is how to use keyboard and mouse with Fortnite Mobile. And people saw that instantly. People saw that video and thought, that's big. A lot of people said there's no way to play Fortnite, you know, with a keyboard and mouse on a mobile device. But I'm here to explain to you why that's actually possible and how you can today use keyboard and mouse on any mobile game ever ex that's ever like that has ever existed. Okay, so in the video, what I said was you can use a feature called switch control in order to map keys and play Fortnite Mobile. And a lot of people said that's fake. You can't just map keys. But basically, there's this feature that has been in iOS for about a year at, at this point, which basically allows you to use a keyboard and mouse or any, any external switch. It can be just a normal button. And when you press the button, it will trigger an on-screen event. So basically, I can make JN tap this button, or I can make it drag across the screen. And this is used for people who have disabilities in order to op operate um, in a mobile device using external switches. But we can use this to manipulate the device. We can, for example, we can make spacebar touch the on-screen jump button and make you jump. You can make W swipe and hold here, and as soon as you let it go, it'll stop holding. You can do a lot of different things by using a keyboard and mouse on an iPad using switch control. Now, obviously you also have the mouse and the mouse already works by default because there's a full mouse and cursor support from iPad OS 13.4 onward. So the mouse has been working. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how to use a keyboard and mouse in any mobile game and then showing you a demo of every single button working and every single movement working. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see right now, on my iPad, it says that there is a Bluetooth USB keyboard connected, which is this keyboard that I'm holding in my hands. So now what you're gonna do is while you're in settings, you're gonna go to accessibility, which is on the left. You're gonna press switch control, which is right there. And once you have switch control, you'll have this page open. Now you have to map all the switches that you want to use. Now, just for reference, I'm gonna show you how to do a switch. So you press add new switch, then you press external because this is an external switch. It's not a switch on the screen. So you have to press external switch and then you activate the switch. So for example, let's say I wanna use a backspace. So I click backspace and then this will pop up on my screen which will tell me what I wanna name the switch. So for example, I will name this backspace. So for example, I'll name the switch backspace and you press save. Now you press tap. So the reason you wanna do tap is because when you press the switch, the event you wanted to do is tap a button on the screen. So once you so once you have your switches all set up, once you have every single switch you wanna use for the game you want, for Fortnite, Minecraft, PUBG, you're gonna go into recipes, you're gonna create a new recipe, and then you can call it whatever you want. For example, I'll just spam the keyboard type a bunch of random stuff. Then you press assign a switch. And now you have to assign each individual switch to do each on-screen action. So for example, I'm gonna assign the switch that is one and I'm gonna do it to hold that point. So for example, let's say I wanna make it launch settings. That means I have to tap there. So I'll do hold that point and I'll hold at the settings button. Then all you have to do is you have to make sure that when you launch switch control, it launches the recipe you want it to launch. So for example, I'm gonna launch the Ushofo or whatever it's called. So now that it's off, as you can see, that that I can, that bar is there, so I can tap the bar, and now it's using the recipe that I named it. So now I'm going to press one, and it it's launching settings. Let me I can close out the thing, and it'll it'll launch settings. So you have to do that for each on-screen button. Now, for example, I'm gonna show you this keyboard mouse working in a game like Minecraft. Okay, so I'm on my mobile account right now, so um I'm not gonna have the same GUI or skins, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna launch a world. Okay, so as you can see right here, I just launched the survival world. And you can see right here, this is the pocket edition inventory. This is the mobile version. I'm not trying to, I'm not scamming you. This isn't the PC version. This is the mobile version. Okay, I close my inventory. Now I, I had mapped all on-screen buttons. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the keyboard here. You can see right here, W will make it move forward. S will make it move backward. And you can see right here, I can move and all product. I can jump, right? I can go to each of my hot burst slots. As you can see, I can open my inventory. I can do every single thing that you want to do. I can even open chats, for example, which I, I have programmed. Like the entire game is literally playable. I, I, I'm moving around. I can even sprint. I can crouch. Um, 
I can basically do anything I want to because I map every single button to what I want it to, to do. Now, in terms of Minecraft specifically, you can't map a sprint button, and that's the only thing you cannot do um, when playing on a keyboard mouse. So you have you have to double click W every single time you want to sprint. Aside from that, that's a full keyboard mouse working with full keyboard mouse controls. As you can see here, I'm doing everything I want to do on keyboard mouse on an iPad on a touch screen. Like this is full keyboard mouse gameplay. There's there's no scam, no lie. Like it's keyboard mouse on mobile, even though. It's too much on mobile, even though developers haven't actually implemented it because you can use buttons, external switches to trigger on-screen events. So that was basically how to use keyboard mouse explained fully on an iPad or in a mobile device, how to play with full keyboard mouse gameplay, you know, no scam, no lie. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing because I took a lot of time and effort to make this video and I'll see you all later. Peace.